Hello YouTubers. Just wanted to give you an update on the KZ400 electric motor conversion. Now I got lucky enough to uh, get this bike. It does have a rear wheel. To get this bike for $200 with a title. No motor in it. Everything else was there. Complete. <clears throat> now I'm doing as much of a budget build as I possibly can. So I purchased this 48 volt, 1000 watt, brushless DC gear reduction motor. And why I did that is because I'm going to be running either 72 or 96 volt, zero battery. Now I did figure out how to um, this top part and I'll do a video on that probably tomorrow maybe to bypass the switch that is on top of here the contactor switch it's basically just like a starter solenoid it's a 12 volt um, switch relay that when you turn the key on the zero click and it gives you power out of your plus and your minus and of course it's got the CAN bus that communicates with the bike's ESC, but you don't get any power out of these until that switch flips underneath the cover. Before the switch, 12 uh, voltage plus and voltage minus, and then you can connect to that. <clears throat> and then you would, of course, have to run an external contact breaker which I will do but when I get a 96 volt controller then this 96 volt battery will go into this bike but for now I do have power headlights tail lights brake lights tail light brake light Turn signals, the blinky doesn't work, but the, the turn signals do all work. The headlight works good. I just got that switch, the high beam off and the low beam on. For now, um, gauges, I can't decide. I might just do the green neutral light as my power on light. Um, but I got them both hooked up right now. Dash lights work, everything. And all I have right now for that is um, <coughs> just for testing purposes. This is just a little 12 volt battery, and then I got 36 volt, 36 volt in series for 72 volts. Just for testing to get the motor mounted up and going. On it is all lined up. So that's roughly around 6,000 RPM. I'm waiting for a friend of mine to finish the center hole on the rear sprocket I got. Uh, motor comes with 420 sprocket, 14 tooth I think. <coughs> um, I had to dig around and find something that was close in a 428 60 tooth and at you know 6,000 rpm this should do uh, god i'd say 55 50 miles an hour if it does anywhere from 50 to 60 miles an hour i'll be happy with the 96 volt battery on there it starts out at 116 volts it'll probably do 70 miles an hour i imagine but then we gotta monitor motor temperature. So I'm starting out with low voltage. The controller that came with the motor 
this 48 volt um, motor, I mean controller. So, uh, but this is a 72 volt controller that came off the white bike. Uh, so we shall see, waiting on the rear sprocket. Um, but on a budget, you know, the motor only costs $109 and that gives you a 48 volt controller, 1000 watt, brushless DC gear reduction motor and everybody does these budget builds with the um the golf cart motors and brushed DC motors don't do it you know you can look up all these videos on how to build a electric motorcycle and they're all doing these brush motors and filling that whole compartment up with a bunch of lead acid batteries budget yourself uh motor wise and then you'll have more money to get the lithium batteries and then you'll get speed and range and, you know, I, I do 35 40 miles an hour for 20 miles well that's useless pretty much for me i mean it's 18 miles to work i could make it but i'm pushing the shit out of them lead acid batteries you're carrying more weight um my battery only weighs 44 pounds I think 44, 42, something like that. Um, so, yeah, it's a $3,000 battery though. Well, it's in my zero, so I got lucky. Um, but you can get 72 volt, 35 amp batteries for $850 to $1,250, right around in there, 72 volts, 25 amp, 35 amp. And with a small bike like this and a really, really efficient motor, um, efficiency on this motor is like 90% should be pretty good range should be pretty good range so we'll see I will definitely uh, keep you guys posted uh, as soon as I get the rear sprocket um, I'll get her all hooked up and get the chain on there and take it for a test drive just with those little two batteries at 72 volts right now so I'll be able to go around the block see what kind of speeds I get kind of barely and they're only four and a half amp batteries so it's you know or five mile range uh, the way it sits and I don't want to ruin <laughs> ruin I already ruined one battery I had six of them I had three in in parallel for 12 amp or actually 64 four four is yeah 12 12 amp and I had two sets of those for 72 volts and yesterday when I was uh, <laughs> testing i blew one up <laughs> so not fun <clears throat> all righty so i'll catch you guys on the flip side any questions feel free to ask i will answer as the best of my abilities oh the twist throttle was ah, God, what was that 10 bucks i think really nice though almost looks like the magura on uh on my zero well you can get my girls for fifty dollars all right thank y'all see you on the flip side